Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode, uh, I think we're titling uh, Parched. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm thirsty. Uh huh. <laughs> and why? Why? What? So, so? So what? So why are we calling this episode Parched? Well, I mean. One, all of us have had it a moment where we're thirsty. Like physically for, thirsty. Yes, exactly. For water. We all need it. We all live by it. But we're also thirsty for so much more. Oh, lots. Thirsty for love. Yep. For security. Um, for belonging. Um, thirsty but, for attention. Thirsty mm -hmm. for fame. Finances. For glory. Fun. Yeah. Thirst, yeah. Thirsty for glory. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Thirsty for power. Mm -hmm. thirsty for achievements accomplishments mm -hmm. thirsty for success mm -hmm. thirsty for i mean there's a lot of stuff you could fill in the blanks but a, each of us has it yeah it's a wilderness world yeah there's a lot of uh desert uh wanderings going around in circles yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so so thirst is uh you know part of the just I mean, just just all of our experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all we all thirst, mm -hmm. and that's why you know this uh, this word from the cross is so I think just you know gospelly good news for us. It is where Jesus he holds all of the world's thirst, all of your thirst, all of my thirst, the thirst that we've had, the thirst we have mm -hmm. now, the thirst that we are going to have. He holds all of the world's mm -hmm. thirst in in this in this moment on the cross where he says, "I." Thirst. I thirst. Mm -hmm. And so he identifies with all of the world's thirst. Mm -hmm. And it was really fascinating about that for me is he's the one who in uh, in John chapter four uh, says that, you know, he's the, he's the giver of living water. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the one who uh, quenches thirst is actually thirsty. thirsty. Seems like a kind of an oxymoron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, but but see, that's the thing. Jesus, he he thirst. So that he can actually, you know, enter into all of our thirst and then satisfy all mm -hmm. of our thirst. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a way that nothing and no one in this world can. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. we see that with actually uh, Miss Samaritan in yeah. John chapter 4. Yeah. A chapter on living water. Exactly. You know, so here's this woman who goes to the well at high noon. Right, because so. she's full of shame. She, I mean, she doesn't uh, want to be around any other person because you normally get well when it's not really hot more like in the morning or yeah. the evening and so she's going at midday and that's where she meets jesus and he says um give me a drink and <laughs> and and what's in that in that uh, that command uh that starts a, an interesting conversation it does uh where uh jesus you know he, he talks about this living water and yeah. she wants to know where well where are you gonna get the living water mm -hmm. you don't have a bucket the, the the well is too deep. Mm -hmm. Well, he's of course speaking of really himself. Yes, I mean he is that bottomless well. Mm -hmm. He is that uh, that 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 living water mm -hmm. that quenches all of our thirst, no matter how mm -hmm. how how deep, no matter how profound that thirst is. Mm -hmm. He has the the water to actually just wipe out that thirst, and she finally gets it. I yeah. mean, finally, find the light bulb uh, goes on for her, and she she leaves her water jug and yeah. goes to town. Goes to the very people she had been trying to avoid, avoid yeah. earlier. <laughs> Which means that, you know, she's thirsty for acceptance, thirsty for uh, love, thirsty for forgiveness. And she's getting that mm -hmm. all from Jesus. And so yeah. she leaves her bucket, which for me is kind of like, you know, she's leaving her life, her old life behind. Right. That life of shame. Yeah. That life of running away from people. That life of, you know, hiding. Mm -hmm. She's leaving that life. And now she's going out into the open. Yeah. Because she, she has no more shame. Right. She's been filled. Filled. It's overflowing mm -hmm. with 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 the living water, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And she goes to town and uh, says, "Could this be the Christ?" <laughs> and why do we know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I mean, now now then, she is filled with being enough because of Jesus. Her brokenness is filled. All all these different yeah. ways that now we can say, "I am filled because." Of Jesus, yeah. of living water Jesus. And the reason why we're thinking of Miss Samaritan and like all of her shame and, and having that shame just wiped out with living water Jesus mm -hmm. um, is because of really when Jesus says, I thirst, um, the guards actually uh, take a sponge and they soak it with sour wine mm -hmm. and they put it to his lips. And, and there are some who argue that actually that sponge would have been for just, you know, 
uh, the Roman mm -hmm. uh, soldiers' hygiene. Mm -hmm. it, it's actually like their version of Charmin, to Charmin toilet paper, mm -hmm. which, I mean, I mean, talk about, wow, um, you know, yeah. the shame that Jesus is, is enduring on the cross. Mm -hmm. It's not just his nakedness, but, you know, if that if that sponge is really used for like, you know, their toilet paper, mm -hmm. um, to have that put to his mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is no shame that Jesus, uh, yeah. uh, you know, just turns away from. Mm -hmm. He embraces, he absorbs all mm -hmm. of the world's shame. All of that's disgusting, all that's disgusting and just horrible. All of those different things. Yep. Yeah. And, and that means whatever shame that we have, you know, mm -hmm. he, he is, he's never going to shun us. He's never going to forsake us. He's mm -hmm. never going to, say, wow, you're just really gross and I'm just going to mm -hmm. stay away from you. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll never see us as like being so toxic and just, oh, yeah, yeah, you're just, uh, you you are a leper to me. Mm -hmm. um, we know what he did You're a lepers. hopeless cause. I mean, yeah. he was touching lepers. Yeah. He was cleansing lepers. Um, and this is what he does for us is he he takes into himself all of our shame, all of our thirst. Mm -hmm. And, and the one who says, uh, I am living water, um, he, he actually is thirsty. Mm -hmm. um, so that he can fill all of our thirst. And then from his side, you know, in John's gospel flows, you know, the water and, and the, the blood. blood, you know, from mm -hmm. his spear pure side um, flows water and blood, the water of holy baptism, mm -hmm. you know, that, uh, that just uh, cools and soothes mm -hmm. uh, and calms. Mm -hmm. uh, it washes away. It washes away. It cleanses us through and through. Mm -hmm. And then the blood, you know, that just fills the chalice and we get to, we get to sip and sup on, mm -hmm. on this Jesus, mm -hmm. be filled with 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 his living water. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, I always think of like Psalm 23 with communion, you know, my cup runneth over. Yeah. Um, he's not he's not stingy with uh, with his uh, with his blood. Right. Yes. He's not filling us to the full. Yeah. And there's always more. Always more. Yeah. yeah. The water of holy baptism cleansing us on the outside. The what well, the the blood of holy communion cleansing us on the inside. I mean, mm -hmm. we are so so cleansed, so satisfied. Yeah. You know, the world is saying can't get no satisfaction, trying to quench their own thirst. Yeah. And here, Jesus, he says, it is finished. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and since he's saying, be satisfied. Right. You know, yeah. uh, it's what he's saying from the cross. Be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Like like he is our satisfaction. He is our enoughness. Mm -hmm. He is yeah. our all in all, everything. Yes, he is. But if we, like you were starting to say, if we are going after trying to quench our own thirst, it's basically going after a mirage all the time. Always. Um, it's never, it might fill you up for maybe a second, if that, but it's it's never going to be enough. But here with Jesus and the living water that he gives, it's it's always enough and actually even more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, to, pl to play off what you're saying there, I mean, the church really is an oasis in a yeah, wilderness world. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus, you know, he is he is the one who makes himself present uh, in the church mm -hmm. with his living water. Mm -hmm. So that, so we can actually have that time of respite, yeah. the time of refreshment, yeah. that time of uh, just rejoicing in this one who does satisfy our mm -hmm. deepest longings, yeah. our deepest thirst yeah. um, so that we can have those parched lips uh, cooled mm -hmm. and soothed. And he's the one who doesn't go, hey, where have you been all this time? He, yeah. he, I mean, he doesn't ask no. any of those questions. There's no shaming, however long it's been or have never been, whatever. He, he says, come, it's all ready. Come, yeah. and have, uh, come and have your parched lips satisfied by me because yep. I love you. I died for you and yeah. have healing in my wounds. So, so, so let those words, I thirst from the cross, mm -hmm. um, uh, just, just remind you that he comes to wipe out all thirst, yeah. to wipe out your thirst, my thirst, the world's mm -hmm. thirst. Yeah. Jesus is enough. He is our satisfying drink mm -hmm. in a wilderness world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so drink up. Yes. Yep. Amen. Yep. Be filled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. See you later.